Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video on the channel and a very special video because it is our first Team of the Year player review. I managed to use one of the Team of the Years yesterday which I'll talk about in a minute but that was in the foot draft and this one here is not in the foot draft. We are actually using a friend's account so a big thank you to him for letting me on the account to try out one of the nicest looking Team of the Year cards that we have had for a long time because it's Joshua Kimmich guys. What a fantastic card. Obviously yesterday released were Bruno Fernandes, Kevin De Bruyne and Joshua Kimmich. Joshua Kimmich 96 rated, De Bruyne 96 rated and Bruno Fernandes 97 rated. I'm not here to discuss ratings but I think the Kimmich probably after the year he had him, I mean he won the Champions League, he deserves a 97 rated card. Maybe that's just because Bruno has more special cards this year on FIFA, I'm not too sure but the rating itself is fantastic and I feel like unlike De Bruyne, Kimmich has got a really, really card, that, a top tier card that he deserves. We're going to review him today, I'm going to talk over some games that I did play with the card. We actually played the card in the friendlies mode because I wanted to get that Suarez done as a way of saying thank you to the guy who let me on the account and I think that it was just easiest to get Kimmich actually in a team that we could just easily put together because it is max chemistry. But guys, if you enjoyed today's video, smash like down below and subscribe for a lot more FIFA 21 content. Well, let's get into it, let's take a look at the card, then obviously we'll get into the highlights, I'll talk about the pros. And the cons, you might not expect there to be, and we'll give them an overall rating out of 10. So the card itself, it is 96 rated, 85 pace, 86 shooting, 96 passing, 94 dribbling, 94 defending, and 92 physical. An absolutely superb box-to-box -box defensive, wherever you want to play him in the midfield. An absolutely amazing midfielder, those stats are a joke. He's 5'9", high-medium work rate, right-footed, 3-star skill moves, and the 4-star weak foot. He's coming in at around 1.9 to 2.2 depending on what console you are on so I think for a team of the year that seems like a good price to me and personally my prediction for the moment is that Kimmich is a good price, I would personally pick him up around this price. Kevin De Bruyne as well, he's around 2.3 million on the Xbox, that seems too cheap for a team of the year but maybe people are just a bit disappointed with the way that card has been uh, treated by EA. In-game stats though, we've got 92 acceleration, 80 sprint speed, 94 attack positioning, 80 finishing, 92 shot power, 99 long shots, 80 volleys and 52 penalties, which obviously brings the shooting down, but we don't really care about either of them two stats. 95 vision, 99 crossing, 69 free kick accuracy, 97 short pass, 97 long pass, 96 curve, he's got 94 agility, 94 balance, 98 reactions, 95 ball control, 93 dribbling and 95 composure. 95 interceptions, 84 heading accuracy with 95 defensive awareness, 97 stand tackle, 92 slide tackle. Them defending stats are just a joke, really just, really just impressive. 99 jumping, 99 stamina, 84 strength and 99 aggression. I think it's one of the cards in game which actually has some of the most in game stats out there. I think it might be third highest or second highest, I can't really remember but it is really high up there. Traits wise on the card then, he just has the leadership trait which is kind of disappointing for a team of the year card like this one, you would like to see more traits on the card and again maybe this is impacting the price, maybe people are thinking you know he doesn't have the outside of foot shot trait, he doesn't have maybe the flare trait, obviously he's not going to have the flare trait but a lot of things that people might look for on a card he doesn't have but it is a defensive minded midfielder and you don't really need them traits. The team we used him in was this one, as I say it's a bit of a messed up team but jo Joshua Kimmich was on 10 chemistry, he was playing in this team and he was our centre mid in a 4-4-2 just like it shows and we played him on stay back whilst attacking and cover centre guys. So yeah, that's the team we used him in, that is the card, 96 rated team of the Joshua Kimmich. Not too sure what I think about the card design yet, I kind of like it but I feel like it's got a team of the season vibe too. I think it should have been a bit darker, a bit like last year and a bit like previous years but that is something that doesn't really matter at the moment guys. Let's get into the highlights, let's talk about how he did perform because it's important when taking a look at a card which is 2.2 million which is not cheap at all guys, it's not a cheap card at all and I sort of looked at it and thought... He's one that I want to try out, he's definitely one that I want to try out. I said I tried one yesterday in the draft and if you want to see the highlights of me using that card in the draft, I just wasn't sure whether I would really bring that to the channel because it was in the draft. But then again, this we are playing in friendlies, is that the same? Is that good enough? Uh, we didn't play in rivals with this card, so yeah, let me know down in the comments. I think that in rivals, it's just the same as friendlies, if not sweaty. I think friendlies is just a joke at the moment, especially for that Suarez card. But again, Joshua Kimmich, guys. The card is just phenomenal. Your 
sort of sense of how good the card is, you almost get that in the first 10 minutes of actually using the card in game 10 minutes. He picks up the ball, he's so smooth. With him being 5 foot 9, he has that 94 agility, 94 balance. And he's just able to feel so smooth on the ball, which is exactly what we want for a card like Joshua Kimmich. I think when you have a midfielder who can move around so smoothly, who can also get in the tackles, is quite unique. And Joshua Kimmich has been one of my favourites to actually use in previous years in FIFA. Uh, especially his team of the season card, so this team of the year card, getting this card in January, when he's coming up against the likes of maybe an Angolo Kante, Renato Sanchez, he'll just blow them cards out of the water, trust me guys, he is a midfielder on the next level, so I have to say his acceleration, 92 acceleration, was really, really nice. We did actually put the Hunter on the card, so he goes up 90 sprint speed, 99 acceleration, he did feel fast, but I have to say that that sprint speed of 90 was almost disappointing but the pace in game he feels fast for a midfielder his passing i said this in the suarez review that suarez he had the vision but he didn't have the execution for the passes this joshua kimmich if you see a pass because he's got that four star weak foot it doesn't really matter which foot you play on he will find the pass and he will find the, your teammate i think that joshua kimmich i've used philip lahm this year and philip lahm was good and obviously german cdm good player he's nothing near kimmich kimmich just blows this card out of the water once again. I would say his movement and positioning. For a CDM, because of his work rates, having high attacking, medium defensive, it did sort of put me off because he is up the pitch, up and down. He's, he is definitely a box-to-box. -box. He's not one that you want to say to stay back because his work rates do dictate do dictate where he actually goes on the pitch. So his movement and positioning were good, but I think that he does prefer to attack. He is a real attack-minded midfielder and that's good, having a box-to-box, -box, if you have maybe N'Golo Kante sat next to him, I think that would be really nice to have Kante sat back, and you want your team of the year midfielder to be able to get forward, because when he did get forward, he was able to score some really, really nice goals, and play them important passes. If you want one guy in your team to have the ball, to play the important pass, Joshua Kimmich was that guy. His tackling, top-notch, you just took, take a look at the stats at the start of the video, they were a joke, and I think that on his 90 rated card, his tackling was really nice, so on a 96 rated card, obviously the tackling is going to be phenomenal. His finishing did surprise me as well, guys. His finishing, his shot power is crazy. His sh shooting, sometimes on the left foot, wasn't as good, but he can perform a number of different shot types. I think the near post, he can do the long shots, he can do the finesse shots, because he's got the 90... Is it 99 curve? 96 curve. He can do it all. He can really, really do it all from a finishing standpoint. His weak foot was good, I would say, for the passing and for the shooting, it seemed okay. 99 stamina, you have to say, is a bonus. Just having a player who can run all game long for 120 minutes, if you're taking foot champions seriously and you're going all of the way in games, Joshua Kimmich is the guy for you. His links are really nice, obviously links to the new, um, what's he called, Lewandowski card, obviously the team of the year card, Lewandowski. He links to the likes of Klosterman, Goretzka, some phenomenal Bayern Munich cards and also German cards. I think the this card, he is surprisingly cheap in my opinion. I think for the links that he provides, he is surprisingly cheap. And I have to mention the versatility because this guy, if you take a look at his rating per position, on foot bin, he's a 93 rated centre back, a 95 rated left back. This is with a hunter, 95 right back. Right mid, left mid, you could play him cam, you could play him striker. He can play any position on this uh, on this game, guys. Honestly, he could play anywhere. And he's one of them players maybe in a game where you are struggling, you want to bring on certain players, maybe have to move Kimmich out wide, bring him to right back, play him in a five back, play him in a three back. He can do that job so, so well. So one of the most versatile players in the game. However, there are a few downsides with this card that I did find after playing uh, Yeah, for, with this card. I would say the three-star skill moves, because you have a team in the year card which can do so much on the field, you almost want him to have the four-star skill moves to be able to do the Berber spins, to do the La Croquettes, and that obviously was kind of disappointing to only have the three-star skill moves, but if you're playing him maybe in a 4-2-3-1, if you use the 4-2-3-1 still in FIFA 21, he would be a fantastic CDM in that role. He would also play really nicely as a 4-4-2. I would love to use this guy next to the team of the year. Bruno or Kevin De Bruyne. I'll say the sprint speed, 80 sprint speed was disappointing, but with a hunter, it goes up to 90, if you believe that chemistry styles do work like that. And his strength, for me, a few times where he did get bodied off the ball, and 84 strength, that doesn't surprise me, but he has the aggression, he has the tenacity, he will win that ball back. Trust me, guys, if he loses the ball, you can sprint back with him and make the tackle. And I have to say the traits, for a team of the year card to have one trait 
is not really up to scratch and I'm kind of disappointed by that but obviously they can't just add traits to the card or maybe they just didn't transition over to the card I might have just been no it says just the leadership trait on the regular card so that's kind of disappointing just the one trait on the card the leadership one and I'm not even sure exactly what that does on the card but yeah guys he is a fantastic card don't get me wrong for under 2 million coins to get a card which is this good is a fantastic deal in my opinion 9.7 out of 10 I'm going to give him as I say I think the few areas that he could improve on would just help boost his attacking potential and just take him to the next level but 9.7 out of 10 you can't get much better than that guys hopefully you did enjoy today's review if you did smash like down below and subscribe for a lot more FIFA 21 content I'm excited to bring upgrade packs to the channel more team of the year reviews all sorts of stuff very very soon that's me done for now I'll catch you all in the next one